Hi everyone, Johnny here from WP Johnny, and I'm just going to talk to you about what hackers want. Okay, um, when hackers hack into WordPress sites, when they write scripts that try to hack WordPress sites, uh, what do they want? Okay, if you know the what they want and what they're going for, you can kind of do things a little differently so that even if they get in, they can't really hurt you in any way. So um, there's five main things. Okay. That, believe me, they don't want your content. They're not trying to steal that. They don't want your content. Um, they, they, they don't really want all your clients' personal information. They don't really want that. They want like a few things. Okay, the first thing they want to do, uh, they want to deface your website. Okay, they want to put ads on it. Or they want it to redirect to their site. Or they sometimes they just want it to be a, like a prank message. Okay, it's, it's a graffiti. They just want to put graffiti, ha, 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 you've been hacked by Master Hacker 2000. Okay. Uh, so that's what they want. So number two, the number two thing they want, they want money. So uh, they might like lock your site and send you an email, uh, try to hold it for ransom, you know, put a message like you have to pay it for them to take their software off. Okay, there's that. Or what they do is if you're an e-commerce site, they go digging through your code and they try to put in like their PayPal key or their Stripe key and or their bank account so that payments get routed or or um, when someone checks out, it goes to their site and the checkout is done on their site. So basically they're just trying to reroute the payments or reroute your paying customers to, to pay them, right? So that's what they're doing. They're trying to change the, the, you know, the PayPal email address on file or whatever. So um, they're rerouting the payments. Uh, a third thing that they will do is that they just want your password. They want your master passwords. So this is how they're thinking, right? If they can figure out your admin password and then they have your admin email account, they're gonna go and then try to use that password to open up the email account. And when they open up the email account, they're gonna see, oh, he's got a PayPal account associated with this email. Then they're gonna try that same password there at your PayPal account. They're gonna try the same password there at your Gmail, at your Yahoo, um, at your eBay account. Okay, so that's what they're gonna try to do. They're gonna try to take your WordPress admin passwords and try it at all your other you know, bank accounts, financial institutions, and see what they can get into. Uh, likewise, if you have users on your site, they will try to get your users' passwords and try it at all their, their users' financial information stuff. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it. That's all they really want. Um, so. You know, uh, one of the most secure things you can do that I tell people is the best, the best security you can have against um, if a hacker does indeed get in is that you don't have your PayPal account password the same as your, your email account password. And you don't have your email account password the same as your WordPress admin password. That alone is going to save you a ton, okay? Um, my database, whatever. They get in, they get in. Okay, if you have a uh, WordPress security plugin, it can detect as soon as your site has been defaced or changed, and that'll help a lot. Okay, um, I'm sorry, and there's one more thing that they want, uh, uh, another thing that attackers will do, is that they try to take the website down. And this is usually done by bombarding the server, okay? So it's something like, um, I don't know if you've ever done that thing, you, you, you watch some political thing, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to change the world. I'm going to get all my friends to call the senator right now and flood their phones. And then that's what you do, right? Or some business, right? Some business, some, somebody did an awful thing and, and now we want to shame their business. So we all call their phone lines, we clog it, right? So that real customers can't get through. So that's what they do with your site and that's what like a DDoS attack is, right? They they have their, uh, they have like a, a site of bots, they have their spam that's infected like 100,000 computers around the world and then they hit a button and all at once, 100,000 of those computers, basically other people's computers and other people's websites will flood and attack your website. Um, by attack, what, what I mean is that they all surf your website at the same time or they all like try to enter a, an admin password at the same time. And what happens is your server can't handle so much traffic and it goes down. Right, the web server goes down, and then anybody trying to access your site, they hit an error message. So that kind of attack is just to take the server down, okay? Um, and also, even if your website is secure, but your security is not efficient, it'll still take it down, right? What we would have is like uh, the TSA situation, right? 
super secure. Nobody with a bomb is getting on a plane, but at the same time, none of the real passengers are getting on a plane either because they're taking forever to frisk and scan everyone. So that's kind of what they're going for. So that's pretty much it. They want to face your website. They want to get some money or redirect to their account, or they want to try your admin password at all your other possible account passwords that you might have on other websites, other services, or they just want to take it down. Okay. Uh, DDoS attack. And that's pretty much it. So that's just how hackers think. And now you know what they're going for. So, um, you know, good luck out there and stay safe. Thanks for watching.